Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial with Rhino 7, and I'm going to be going over how to use the mirror tool. Okay, first of all, we want to go ahead and start Rhino. And I'm starting in this in, with the small inches uh, template. So the nice thing about Rhino is if something is concentric, you don't have to draw it twice. You can just draw it once and then mirror it over. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first we're going to get our rectangle square. We're going to make sure that our oak grid snaps are on. And we're just going to go ahead and drag. We're going to go ahead and draw something. Actually, let's undo this. Go ahead and get the square again. We'll draw something out here. All right. Now in the command line, we're going to type extrude. We're going to go ahead and click this. Right mouse click button, extrude straight up. That's fine right there. Okay, now I want one of these over here. So what I'm going to do is do the mirror command. So I'm going to mirror. It's going to ask me the object, select objects to mirror. So I'm going to go ahead and click that box. Say that it's a curve. I'm going to right mouse click, go from the send point there, and just rotate this around. Click. Now what you will have to do is you will have to ex extrude it again, which is no big deal, but so go ahead and type extrude. We'll go ahead and click that, right mouse click. We'll just drag up to there. Okay, so there are two objects. Okay, now I wanna put a, like a point on top here. So we'll go ahead and get this tool. Okay, go ahead and click off of it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, mirror this as well. So type in mirror in the uh, command prompt. Go ahead and select that. And we'll right mouse click. We'll come from that same point we did before and we'll just move that around. Now we can go ahead and, and extrude both of these. Type in extrude in the command prompt. We'll go ahead and select this one. And we'll select, hold down the shift key and get that one. We'll right mouse click. And then we want to extrude with your snaps on. You want to come down to the end point there. Okay, now we have kind of this shape that mostly we just mirrored. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get the rectangle tool again. I'm going to draw a little circle here or a square here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and extrude that straight across. So we'll go ahead and type in extrude. We'll go ahead and select this. Right mouse click. <clears throat> we'll extrude it over to here. Uh -oh. Undo. Extrude. Select that triangle. Right mouse click. Drag it over to there. Okay, now we have this basic shape here that we've done really nothing. The only thing we've really done is drawn half of it and revolved the other half over. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put a circle. Actually, undo. Get Grab that circle. I'm going to draw a circle there. Actually, let's undo that. Let's put it right there. Let's turn on our midpoint snaps. And to do that, you just click mid. And then it's going to light up. Okay, so we'll do the same thing here. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, revolve, mirror this around. So we'll type in mirror, hit enter. We're going to select that. We're going to right mouse click. We're going to go to the where we know it's the midpoint. We're just going to roll it around. Right there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and type extrude if that's what we want to do. Hit enter. We're going to grab both of these. Hold down the shift key. We're going to right mouse click and then we're just going to scale it. 
And now we're going to go ahead and put in a, a change the perspective view to uh, rendered. So we can see what we're doing here. So a lot of this stuff needs to be capped. So we'll go ahead and, and hit cap. We'll select that piece. Hold down the shift key, get that piece, hit enter. Now we have a cap on that. Right mouse click to com to comp to start the command over again. We'll get that one box. Hold down the shift key, get that box, hit enter. Okay, now we want to cap off these two. So right mouse click to get the command again. Select this one, hold down the shift key, select this one, hit enter. Okay, now we have this little piece right here that we all we did was pretty much mirror all this stuff. Um, you could do the same thing with copy too. Copy works the same way. Uh, got one little cap out there I need to get. So we'll go type in cap in the command prompt. Go ahead and select this one, enter. Okay. So what you could do is if you want to do a copy something, you say we wanted to copy this up here, we could select that. Or let's just drag a marquee around it and make sure we get everything. Now you could go ahead and say copy, hit enter. You could go from the midpoint there, and then you could drag that triangle tip down to there, and then hit enter. So now we have a, uh, you know, we pretty much revolved, or we mirrored most of this over, mirrored these over. Now these we've just copied. Um, so that's uh, pretty handy. That's how you would use the mirror tool uh, and the copy tool. Okay, a short little tutorial, but uh, hopefully you found it interesting. If you got any, any use out of it, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. And thank you for watching.